1600 Serger. Today we will be sewing through an overview of the instruction manual. But before we begin serging, let's talk about thread and needles. There are many types of thread available for your Speedy Lock serger. The most common type of thread is the serger cone thread. You want to make sure that the thread is of good quality and it's not fuzzy on the cone. When using cone thread, you want to make sure to use the cone thread holder that comes with your Speedy Lock. Place the cone thread on the cone thread holder and that will stabilize the thread. Besides the large cones of thread, you can also use smaller cones as well as regular spools of thread. When you are using a regular spool of thread, you want to use a spool cap. I'm going to remove the cone thread as well as the cone thread holder and just place the smaller spool of thread directly on the spool pin and then use the spool cap. The spool cap allows for the thread to feed off correctly. Now let's take that off and replace our cone thread. And we're ready to talk about needles. You always want to use standard sewing machine needles with your Speedy Lock serger. You should change your needles every 8 to 10 hours of sewing time or every garment. You're now ready to start threading your Speedy Lock serger. First, Let's take away the handy waste catcher, and I'll set that aside for now. Your Speedy Lock has a wonderful large working surface and also a free arm. I'm going to take the support bed just off to the left and set that in back for now. The nice little free arm here at the front allows you to work on cuffs and also on sleeves. Open the front cover by pulling the cover to the right and letting it come forward. And to release our free arm, there's a little button right in the front. I'll push that down, and the free arm releases to the side. You're now ready to start threading your Speedy Lock. You always want to thread the upper looper first when you are threading your Speedy Lock. Then thread the lower looper, the right needle, and then the left needle. You should always thread in this order. When you begin threading, make sure the telescoping thread guide is in its highest position and we're ready to begin with the upper looper. The upper looper is the purple threading path on the front of your Speedy Lock. Take the thread from the cone up to the telescoping thread guide. We'll now follow down to the thread guide plate and go from the back to the front and then clip the thread into the little thread clip and you have this wonderful little twist right here on your thread guide plate. Go into the first thread guide and then thread into the tension discs. It's very important that you tug and give the thread a good tug so the thread gets into the tension disc completely. We're now ready to follow the purple threading path on the front of our speedy lock as shown in this handy diagram. I'm going to use my tweezers and take the thread and I'll use the first threading guide here and place the thread into the first threading guide, into the second thread guide, third thread guide, up to the top. And now we will place the thread through the eye of our upper looper. So I'll just take my thread, go ahead and go through the eye. And now I'll use my tweezers and take my thread and pull it all the way to the back of my Speedy Lock. You are now ready to thread the lower looper. Take the thread from the cone up to the telescoping thread guide, again down to the thread guide plate, and we'll go from the back to the front and clip into our second little catch. And again, we have our nice little twist. Go into the first thread guide, Take our thread into the tension disc and make sure you tug and pull that thread into the tension disc so it's in there completely. We are now ready to thread the lower loop or the green threading path along the front of your Speedy Lock. Take the thread 
into the first thread guide. And that little thread guide is right up here at the top, right here. Go into the second thread guide. We'll now go up a little bit higher to the third thread guide and then to our fourth thread guide. There are two springs that we're going to go to. This is our first spring. You may need to readjust your speedy lock just a little bit. Go through the first spring. And now place the thread through the second spring. And take the thread to the left side of your speedy lock. Now I'm going to readjust my hand wheel and it exposes the little end of my lower looper. Go from the back to the front on the lower looper and readjust your lower looper. And go ahead and grasp that thread and take it from the left to the right. And place the thread through the eye of the lower looper. And just make sure I can take it from the back. And now I'll take the thread and pull it all the way to the back of my speedy lock. Now it's very important when you turn the hand wheel towards you, you see that there's a little cross in the thread and that the lower looper thread is above the upper looper. You are now ready to begin threading the right needle on your speedy lock. This is the yellow threading path. Take the thread from the cone to the telescoping thread guide through the thread guide plate from the back to the front and then click it in, our second thread guide there. Go into the thread guide on top and I'll now take my thread into the tension disc. Make sure you give it a good tug. Now I'll follow the yellow threading path on the front of my speedy lock. We'll go into the first thread guide, the second thread guide, and then up to the take up lever down the front and I'm going to use my tweezers and make sure I get my thread in behind the two little plates right there at the front and place the thread through the eye of the right needle and then I'll use my tweezers and just pull the thread all the way to the back of my speedy lock. And now we will thread the left needle which is the blue threading path. Take the thread from the cone to the telescoping thread guide into the thread guide plate from the back to the front and click that in. Go into our top thread guide and into our tension discs. Again, tug your thread into your tension disc so it's in there completely. Now let's follow the blue threading path on the front of our speedy lock. Go through our first thread guide into the take-up lever, down the front, and again I will use my tweezers and click that behind those front little tension plates. And now I will take the thread and place it through the eye of the left needle. And after I get that in there, I'll pull my thread all the way to the back of my speedy lock. To adjust the cutting width on your speedy lock, there's a handy dial on the inside of the free arm. Turn the dial toward N for a narrower width or W for a wider width. You are now ready to close your speedy lock. I'll close the free arm and then the front cover. And I will go ahead and put on the support bed and just slip that right in to the side. I'm now ready to raise the presser foot and I want to take all of the threads underneath that back presser foot and pull all the threads off to the left side, lower your presser foot and while holding these threads I'll just turn my hand wheel toward me several times. That way I can make sure that I'm making a stitch and I have this threaded correctly. You're now ready to begin surging with your